Hi everybody, I'm Stephanie Nelson from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns. Today we're going to be showing you how to spin Rainbow Glitz Bat into an art yarn. We have our bat today, our Rainbow Glitz Bat, all sorts of sparkles. We're just going to open it up a little bit. And the way we spin this yarn is we're literally, we're just going to tear off section. This turns it into man and more manageable sections. That way I don't have an entire bat in my lap. Often when I'm spinning, I have to stop spinning to answer the phone or to uh, take care of one of the children or some other thing like that. So. We have our Ashford Kiwi Super Flyer on. That's what we're going to use to spin this today. We're going to join our little section on, our little piece of bat. Got to get our hands warmed up. Make sure the tension is right on your spinning wheel. We're going to be spinning this yarn thick and thin today and that'll help create the bobbles. When you're spinning your yarn thick and thin, to spin the sections thicker, simply let more of the wool between your fingers into the area that you're drafting. You want to pinch a little bit tighter in the beginning and in the end of the thicker sections. You want to make sure to add twist into the thicker sections, otherwise your yarn will fall apart when you go to ply it and put the bobbles in. Let's look at this a little bit faster. Right now the video is going at four times faster than how I was actually spinning the yarn. You can see I'm letting thicker sections through my fingers and thinner sections through my fingers. When you're spinning this, there is no specific distance between the thick, uh, the very thick bobbles. You can spin it however you want. I just spin it very naturally. However, whatever distance I feel like adding between the bobbles is what I add. After you're done spinning your yarn thick and thin, it is time to start putting in the bobbles. So you can see we're simply plying with a, a black thread. Whenever there's a thicker section, let it go through your hands and then scrunch it up when the section is almost completely through. You want to make sure that your tension is adjusted very um, to be quite high so it's actually pulling the yarn through your hands. This gives you a better idea of the distance between the actual thick and the actual thin sections of the yarn. It also shows you that the bobbles are different sizes. So let's look at it even faster. When you're looking at it faster, you can see that the bobbles are completely different sizes, but yet they're within the same range. One's not unnaturally giant and one's not ridiculously small. So keep on pushing the bobbles up and when you're done with your yarn take it off with your nitty knotty or however you'd like to take off your yarn and just notice that when you take it off the yarn will the bobbles will relax a little bit and this is okay. This is part of the yarn. If you find this video helpful, feel free to click the thumbs up button, comment below, show me pictures of the yarn that you've made. 